There's a problem in the book with two shadow men. I, it's not really shadow men. I just like to call it that. Walks at a rate of, and this is the ridiculous part, eight feet oh. <laughs> per second. So he lives in the shadows. It's like, right? Like, who walks that fast? It's like, right? How do you even walk that fast? Like, from here to here is eight feet. Like, that's one second. Like, you'd, it's really fast. It's like, he's walking in the shadows. So he walks at a rate of eight feet per second away from a light. She's walking away from a light. It's already creepy. <laughs> That is, huh? In an alley. In an alley, yeah, I know, in a dark alley. <laughs> that is 15 feet. And I'll show you how I do it. Um, the book does it a different way. That is 15 feet above, above the ground. The problem doesn't even make sense because after a long time, the man will be so far from the light, there won't be a shadow. <laughs> right? So like, he'll be in darkness where he lives. Um, <laughs> It's, like, it's really creepy. Uh, what's the question? Uh, when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? Wow. It's ridiculous. At what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? Of his <coughs> shadow moving. Really creepy. Give me some time to write it and we'll go over it very slowly. Yeah, uh, yes, we will. Yeah. That's that's also part that's part A. So part A is that. Part B Part B, yeah, there is a part B. Part B wants to know um, uh, at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? So B, when he is 10 feet away, so when he is 10 feet away, at what rate is the length of his shadow moving? So at what rate, what rate is the length of his shadow moving? So is the length, le is the length, of his shadow moving, of his shadow, of his shadow. Is it moving or changing? Uh, changing. Changing, that makes more sense. All right, take your time, write it down. We'll go over it very, very slow. It's not a long problem. It's just it requires like a clever trick that I guess you're supposed to learn it in geometry, but if you've never taken geometry, you might not know it, or maybe it's been a long time. So it's kind of like, it's kind of evil. That's why I wanted to do it, because it's not, it's not even in the book. Like, you can read the book, and this example's not there. You know, th there's nothing in the book that will tell you how to do this problem. Yeah? Can we change the 80 per second, second? I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I'll leave it to you. I'll, I'll give you the answer to it later. I will, after this, I'll pull down the homework and, yeah. yeah I want to keep my numbers the same. So. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So... I'm going to draw the picture of what's going on. So solution. So here's the light. It's a light shining in the darkness. And the light is 15 feet above the ground, right? So this distance is 15. Okay, that's 15. And then here's the shadow. Here's the man. I'm going to call him a shadow man. He's a tall man. He's six feet tall. <laughs> right. He's an angry man, which I'm not talking to him. And then notice that if you look at the top of his head, it forms a triangle. All right, so this will be the tip of his shadow. This is the shadow he's casting with right? the lights behind him. All right, it's really creepy. You have to like know how to do this. Like what? And but the man himself. How tall is the man again? Six feet. Let's just cut him in half. No, it's really bad. It's just, oh, so he's this man six feet. So he's six feet tall. The shadow man. He can't be killed. <clears throat> so there's, there's, there's our 15, there's our six. And so the way I did it was, um, the far day says when he is 10 feet from the base of the light, at what rate is the tip of his shadow moving? I figured this is the tip of his shadow, right? 
So I should give that a reasonable name. So I decided um, to call that um, y. And then his distance from the light, I called that x. You can use different variables. That's just what I chose when I did it. Okay. So again, you can use you can you can call this y and you can call this x. It's just completely arbitrary, right? I'm just sticking to my notes so I don't mess up. So I called his distance from the light x and the tip of his shadow y. Now now we can write down what we're given and what we need because we need these two things, right? This is how far he is, and this is the tip of his shadow. So we need to give them names. Okay, so we're given. Let's see what are we given and what do we need. So we're given how fast he walks. He walks at a rate of 8 feet per second, so away from a light. So x is how far he is. So how fast he walks would be what? dx dt. Yeah, so we're given dx dt, and that must be equal to 8. He's a supernatural being. Eleven minute mile? Yeah. So he's basically running. Slash jogging. Really running is that fast? Eight feet per second? I should go run and just see. Okay, <laughs> so like, I want to test it. I can run that fast? <laughs> I can do eleven minute mile. I mean it's really slow. Alright, so it need <laughs> Wow. Okay, I can beat him. So we need uh, what do we need? Oh oh when he is ten feet from the base of the light. So in this part we need dy dt, right? At x equals 10. Yeah, thanks Josh. X equals 10. All right, so here's the hard part in this problem. It's coming up with, well, that picture is ridiculous too, but coming up with the equation. So I don't know if you all know this. I'll put it in like a little box up here, call it like on a side. So similar triangles are a thing from math. Um, similar triangles have the same shape, but they're different sizes. So same shape, different sizes, same shape, different sizes. So or can be different sizes. So same shape can be different sizes. That's something with similar triangles. Um, what do you learn that? I guess geometry? I mean, have you all seen this before? The similar triangle thing? Yeah, I had never seen it either until this class when I took calculus one in college and I didn't understand it. So but now I do. So so sim same shape can be different sizes. So let me just give you a quick example before we derail into the problem. If we have like 5, 4, 6, this would be similar to 2.5, uh, 2, and 3. See, they're the same shape, but they have different sizes. So you can create ratios. So I can do stuff like 4 over 6 equals 2 over 3. You see that? 5 over 6 equals that over that. Or you can do 5 over 2.5 is 2. That's the same thing as 6 over 3. You see, you can create equations like that by dividing things all day long, right? It's really cool. So you can divide random stuff, like 4 over 6 is 2 over 3. Oh, I'll write it, look. 4 over 6 is 2 over 3. It works. It's really cool math. And I guess you're supposed to learn this stuff. I guess geometry. I never studied geometry ever. Well, maybe I did in eighth grade, but I, yeah. And pay attention. So, so 4 over 6 is 2 over 3. Okay, so in here, in this problem, we can create some, some triangles. If this distance is y, and this distance is x, then this distance is y, this distance here is going to be y minus x, 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 y minus x. I'm going to write it. So it's y minus x, y minus x. All right, because you take y, Subtract x, you get y minus x. Okay, and the way I did it, apparently in my notes, is I did, I did 15 over y is the same as 6 over y minus x. That's just how I did it. The homework does not do that. They do something else. So 15 over y is 6 over y minus x. 15 over y is 6 over y minus x. It's really sneaky having to figure this out on your own without ever seeing it, it's like, it's too much to ask, right? I mean, unless you're like a geometry master, 15 over y is 6 over y minus x. 15 over y is 6 over y minus x. Um, I guess we have to clean this up. I mean, we have to find dy dt, so these, these y's in the bottom are no fun. What type of special multiplication can we use in this case? Cross, Cross yeah, Pfft, like a ninja move. So, so this times this uh, is going to be, I'll use an implication arrow. 15 times y minus x equals 6y. 
So 15 times y minus x equals 6y. Okay. Now we can just distribute. We can actually solve for y in this problem. So we would have 15y minus 15x equals 6y. So then maybe subtract 6y, add 15x. So that would give us, uh, subtract 6y would give us 9y. 9y, I'll mess up here, it'd be really bad. That's a really weird 9. 9y equals 15x, x, divide by 9. So we get 15x over 9. So that means that y would be simply divided by 3, right? We get 5x, 5 thirds x. 5 thirds x. Really clean. Really clean. Like, no, no, not messy at all. This is the worst part. Like, this is the part, it's like, whoa, how'd you come up with that? Like, that's, this is the ridiculous part, right? I mean, it's just like completely out of nowhere compared to the other questions. You can do all the homework, then you get to this one, the shadow man. Some people hate this problem. It's like, it's, it's famous because people don't like it. So now we can take the derivative, right? dy dt. So dy dt is simply 5 thirds and then just dx dt, right, dx dt. I think we know dx dt. It's 8, yeah, it's 8. It's 8. So it's going to be 5 thirds times 8. So 40 thirds, and I guess it's feet per second, right? And that's it. You don't have to worry about plugging in the 10 because there's nowhere to plug it into, right? So it doesn't matter how far he is, the rate of change is the same. It's kind of weird uh, because, yeah, it's, shadows are weird. Yeah, shadows are weird. Sweet off that little notation. No, you don't because it doesn't matter. I mean, you could, but it do, you don't have to because it doesn't matter. So that's part A. Any questions? We still have five minutes. We're going to use all of them. I'll do something else after that's worth it. Or B, 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 B. It says, uh, uh, at what rate is the length of his shadow changing? So you just do y minus x and take the derivative of that. So for part b, you just do d dt of y minus x. It doesn't matter the, uh, how far he is, because you see it's not going to matter. There's, no, there's not going to be a variable here. So d dt of y minus x means take the derivative of this. This is the length of his shadow. So the rate of change with respect to time of the length of his shadow. This is dy dt minus dx dt, right? You just, it's really weird. There's no x, you, don't, you never need this in the problem. You never have to plug it in. It doesn't matter how far he is according to this problem, uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, I think. So dy dt, I think we figured it out before. That was this, 40 thirds. And then dx dt, 8. Ah, oh, good, yes, because 8 is 24 over 3, good. So minus 24 over 3, so 40 over 3 minus 24 over 3 is 16 over 3 feet per second. Ridiculous. Which, I, again, I don't think makes very much sense, because if he goes really far, the shadow is going to disappear, right? Because the light only goes so far. Eventually, you'll be in darkness.